G'day guys, Sparky Dave here. In the real world, we're not really treating our multimeters with care. As a Sparky, they hang off your tool belts and the meters get jostled around quite a bit. So over time, they are susceptible to damage. Now I'm going to show you a fault that occurs with multimeters over time uh, and how to fix that. So here I've got my CL800 and if I chuck it onto ohms or continuity, and then I put the lead ends together on the meter here. You can see that it still shows that it's an open loop. Or the meter could show a reading of 1 or 2 ohms. Now the first thing you'll check is that the leads are actually plugged into the meter properly. And that the batteries have been replaced in the meter. And still it shows open loop. You might go to a power socket. Even though the meter is not working on continuity. You might put it on voltage and test a known live power outlet and show that the meter still shows 240 volts now sometimes people will jump to the conclusion that they've blown an internal fuse and then perhaps go and buy a new meter just to do their job what I've found is generally it'll be a mechanical issue with a nut on the inside of these multimeters so I'm going to show you how to access it and how to repair the fault with the multimeter you may even find that you think the fault is the leads and you go ahead and buy new leads but if you chuck them in a different multimeter you'll find that the leads are generally fine unless you can see physical damage on them otherwise all you'll need to do the repair is literally a small Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers and it'll only take you five minutes on the job rather than the half hour it would take to go down to the wholesalers and the few hundred dollars for a new meter Alright, so the first thing we'll do is remove the screws. On this particular meter, there are four screws to remove. So there's one at the top, one in the middle here for the battery cover, and one at the bottom, and then there's a fourth one in behind the batteries. Before we take the back off, we'll make sure we unplug the leads and move those to the side. Just want to make sure we keep track of the small screws. So I just put them to the side down there. Pop these batteries out. And there's another screw right up the top here. So when this fault happened, I took it straight into Klein to one of their service representatives. And they just told me that the meter is more than two years old, so it's out of its warranty. And there's not much they can do about it. So hence, I decided to investigate myself and see if I can repair it. And of course, I've got many more years out of the meter than I would have otherwise. Now, we have to be careful popping the back off here. So this battery terminal spring is connected to this one, which is not part of the cover here. These two here are part of the cover, so they will remove with it. You've got to slide the cover over the spring. Now if you just carefully, as you can see, the spring has dropped down below it may need a wee flathead screwdriver to just lever in this point here now at this point be very careful because there is a wiring harness which connects the LED light from the top here in behind this ribbon so there's a wee connection port here which has the light plugged into it now I disconnected this a long time ago um, because this light serves no real purpose to me when I have the screen backlight on other than wasting the battery so hence I just leave it unplugged now this is where you need to get to literally with the back off what you'll find now is the nut on one of these terminals is loose and of course as you can see this one here is loose so what I'll do is tighten that up with my finger as tight as it goes and then get my pliers now in fact I may need long nose pliers to get in on the right angle and just crank it up as you can see that nuts nice and tight now it's not over tightened and I can connect this meter back together I can go ahead chuck the back cover back on carefully push in on the top first make sure that spring pops through now that spring you can easily just realign it with a screwdriver 
like that. And then I'll chuck the screw back in behind the batteries. Chuck the batteries in. And the other two screws in. Plug the leads back into it. Once it's back together, chuck the multimeter onto continuity and check the resistance. Perfect. Alright, so that's how to repair one of these meters. Now remember, do not attempt to pull these apart unless you're convinced that it's at the end of its life and you've got a problem that you need to address. Alright, cheers for watching.